Welcome to the Lambay Farm. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to walk a distance. A horse's stride is 12 feet long, which is equivalent to four of my steps, because each step I take is three feet long. So whenever I walk four steps, I know that's the equivalent of one stride for the horse. The horse will land approximately six feet from the jump and take off six feet away from the jump. So I'm going to start walking this distance now. So I'm going to go one, two, so that's two steps, which is six feet, and that's where the horse should land, right here. Now I'm gonna start walking the distance. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. So this looks like a normal six stride distance. I'm gonna check that I'm definitely six feet away from the jump. So one, two. So that's a normal six foot stride distance because I'm landing six feet from the jump and I'm taking off six feet from the jump. If I got to here and the jump wasn't six feet away, it was for example, eight feet away, that would indicate that the distance is two feet long. If I get to here and the jump is, is only four feet away instead of six feet away, that would indicate that the distance is two feet short. And I'd ride the, I'd ride the, the line accordingly. This is a normal 84 feet, so it's definitely a normal, a normal six stride because I measured it with my, with my tape. It's important that when you're setting distances at home that you use the tape because that gets you into the idea of walking the, the correct number of strides and getting your own length of stride tr three feet long. And that's what I do as, as part of my routine. There's a number of variables when you're walking a course. For example, if this six strides, 84 feet, was going up a slight hill, that distance would naturally become longer because the horse won't cover as much ground going up a hill. If it was set going down a hill in, in, a, in a field, for example, um, the distance would become a little bit shorter. Uh, if the distance like this is at the end of a course, normally the horse is covering a bit more ground and the distance would become a little bit shorter. If it's at the start of the course, the opposite is true. It might ride a little bit longer because the horse hasn't opened up its stride just yet. So when you're walking these distances, it's important to take all this stuff into, into consideration. This distance may come up in the jump off of a course. So when I'm walking my first round, I'll always ride, walk the, the jump off course as well. And because I know it's a normal six strides, I know that I could quite easily leave a stride out and do five. So this, this is also something to take into consideration. I also know that because it's a normal six strides, and this, for example, might be a, a difficult double of verticals or something, it would also be quite easy to, to add a stride and go, and go seven strides. Walking a distance on a dog leg like we have here is the very same as walking it in a straight line, but because you're on a turn, you subtract one, one yard, which is three feet. So here we have a Liverpool. Um, I always, when I'm walking a distance and there's a Liverpool involved, I'll always actually walk in the Liverpool to make sure that it's, it's very accurate because I don't know how wide the Liverpool is. So I'm going to start here. One, two. So that's six feet away from the jump, so the, the horse should land here approximately. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. So here I am on seven strides. I think it's normal because I'm going to take one more stride. One. Yeah, so it's, I'm, six, I'm six feet. I'm three feet away from the jump instead of being six feet away from the jump. So that indicates that this is a normal seven stride distance. On a dog leg or a bending line like this, because you're, you're putting a turn in the, in the related distance, the, the line you take is important. If you find that the, the distance is long when you walk the course, you can, you can cut your line a little bit if, and go more direct. If you find that the distance is a bit short, you can, you can put more of a bow or a bend in the line to, to stay out and make it easier to add that stride. It's important for every rider to be able to measure these distances with a tape and, and walk distances correctly at home and get, and get very familiar with that because when you get to a show, um, it, it, it makes everything much easier. It's important that your horse is rideable, that it'll be able to shorten and lengthen on these, on these distances and it's important to practice doing, adding and, and leaving out strides at home. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.